And good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Money in the Law on My FM 101.3. Uh, this is Money in the Law, where we talk about all things money and all things law. And it's, of course, brought to you by your, your gracious host, Jay Marston from the Marston Law Group. And I'm uh, John Drohan from Main Effort Financial. We've been doing this now. This is our, I believe this is our, we will be heading into our ninth year. Yes. Our oh, ninth, ninth year. year. So, ninth we've, year. so yeah. for the past almost nine years, we have been giving you upfront, very clear, very understandable, because mainly because we understand it, um, kind of explanation on, so, on some of the important things that everybody needs to know about whether it comes to money or whether it comes to all things legal, a.k.a. the law. Yeah, we did this over almost the, yeah, the entire last two Trump administrations. Yeah, but, it was great. It was fantastic. <laughs> we're covering everything. Yeah, that's right. Great. That's right. So we, uh, we, you know, we, you know we've, we've kind of, you know, we've seen administrations come and go, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, we've, yeah, we've seen. We've, it's almost like we'll have this, you know, at some point, you know, 30 years from now when we have like, the, you know, when they're, when they're giving us our kind of, our, our lifetime achievement award. Exactly, our yes. lifetime achievement award at the yep. big banquet. Yep. Probably be at pins or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. And we'll uh, be you know, wearing these masks, hopefully. By well, the way. Yep. with luck, yep. we won't yep. be, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and and you you can see now they'll, they'll do like the kind of this is your life, and they'll there'll be a roast, of course, and a montage. Yeah, there'll be a, there'll be a nice montage, and then we'll be talking about you know they'll be like, wait, who was president back then, right? It'll be like, yeah, yeah that's right. I know we've probably talked about this on the show before, but if you if you want to see like great uh, great television, if you will, um, talk about roasts and stuff like that, watch Obama and his last uh, uh, job, if you will, or his last uh, appearance at the uh, correspondence, the White House correspondence Ooh, dinner. Oh yeah, that's it well, that's is, a that's an infamous one. It, yeah, it, but, but it's just I mean, you see this guy like work a room. And uh, you know, and he was good, right? Yeah. He was good, no doubt. He knew, he knew, you know, he knew how to, he knew how to, you know, touch a couple of things. And yeah, that was potentially the beginning of, uh, of 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 this snowstorm that we're in the middle of right now. But uh, he was, I mean, he very self-deprecating, very very funny, very respectful of everybody in the room. You know, really kind of knew how to check all the boxes, and uh, it was pretty good. So if you if you want to talk about you know this whole idea of uh, award dinners and roasting and stuff like that. Um, check him out. It's pretty funny. It's pretty well, funny. speaking of television, I don't want to get I don't want to get too far ahead with it. Before yeah. that, we are, of course, on television, yes, uh, courtesy of the yes. Allison Cable yes. Access TV, and Christian Bidet, who is, of course, Christian's like our guy. Like this is his show, right? Yeah. This is, oh, Money yeah. in the Law is his show. So on his resume, we're, on his resume, of course it is, of prominently course. located. Of course it is. So we're, we're so we're like a team. We're like we're because you know what the the WMRC guys. I mean, not for nothing, or my FM guys. You know they. We love them. They're our guys, but they as soon as we get the we get all set up, they bounce. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, they yeah. got important things to do. Yeah, they they don't, stand around and look at us. Right. You know, they big bounce. Deal. Like, Christian, he's he's here. Doesn't doesn't say a word. Right? He's got you know. Bruce has put the gag order on him. He's not allowed to speak. That's right. But he he actually is, he can speak. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, he can. I'm, I'm, but he's, I'm aware uh, he has the power of speech. Yeah. Is my understanding. <laughs> yes, yes, I've heard That's him right. speak That's before. Right. Yep. But he is here with us, uh, making us look. Uh, <laughs> five years older than I he'll, really he'll, am. Nine years older than we really am. Yeah, we really am. He'll be recording. He uh, will record the actual right, roast right. itself when it's on, you know, not just radio, but when it's simulcast on both, he'll, well, he'll record it. That's right. So, so, so since since the pandemic, as as some of you know, I've, I've ha I'm on this kind of hair problem. I'm having a problem. Yeah, you're, uh, it's yeah, a, it's you're a crossing problem. over and, here and at so, this point. Yeah. So I, I, I haven't, I'm, I'm kind of, I haven't had a hair, I've washed my hair, but I haven't yeah. cut my hair. So, and I'm trying not to document this. Unfortunately, cable access TV does that. So this is where, so try not to look, look more at Jay than at me. Well, if they can document your hair, they can document. Oh, make that. That, that is. 1970s handlebar that mustache That is what right I'm there. talking about. <laughs> I, you know what? I, and I never, I didn't notice that because of the mask. Because Jay and I are very, we're very good about wearing our masks yes. as a Christian. But Jay, is look, he looks like, you look like Tom Selleck. <laughs> The great Magnum P.I. Uh, right there. Uh, not Blue God. Bloods. Not I mean, Blue Bloods. No. The Magnum. I want to be the Magnum but, Tom. But, but, I want to be the Magnum Tom. I mean, Tom, he's timeless, right? Yep. He's yep. timeless. Yep. Oh, wow. That's good stuff. Yeah, yep. you need to, we need to get a picture of that. Talk about the original. You were just joking about Jimmy Buffett back in the day. Margaritaville was playing. We walked in, and we were joking about it. You want to see a mustache back in the day. Like yeah. Those guys, he had your hair. 
and my mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. And, that's right. And that look, and and guys would get up in the morning, and they'd be like, they look in the mirror like, I'm good. I'm, well, I'm good. A lot of I'm those guys. A lot of those guys didn't want to admit it. They had a, a, a magazine picture of Tom Selleck or one of those guys, you know, on the on the side <laughs> of the mirror, look, you know. Right, I had Tom Selleck on one side, Peter Frampton on the other, right? <laughs> yeah, Frampton comes alive, of, right? There's a lot of this going oh, on, so a lot of good. this going on, that's a lot of combing right of the mustache. Yep, that's yeah. right, back uh, in the day. Those yep. are good old days. Christian, you you know what? You're, you're, you missed out. You missed out on that because Christian being a full-blown millennial, like yeah. he's, yeah, I mean, he's, he doesn't he's, even, doesn't yeah, even know he's that like, time existed. He's, he's like, what, the seventies? You know is that when Lincoln nor, was president? Abraham Lincoln, eighteen seventies? What are you talking about? Yeah. Right. Yep. Right. Um, so what was I going to say? I was going to say I was going to say. Oh, we were talking about uh, when we when we first came in. We're uh, Christian and I were talking about um, Christmas because, as you know, this is the holiday season. Oh, it'll be here before and you know it. It's the holiday season. We're and we were we were addressing lights. Um, and actually talking about you behind your back, and then you just happen to come in, and uh, so, so for those of you who don't know, the bidet household, where, you know, the, the where Christian Christian's house, they set the standard for Christmas lights oh, right. uh, on their street, and 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 probably in in some ways to kind of bring shame on the other houses, and, sure. and especially the neighbors across the street. That's yep. all yep. of them, yep. right? All yep. of them, and yep. it's funny because like some the houses uh, that have kind of been on their side, and uh, you know, our good friend uh, Ernie Tomaselli, he's on the side oh, of yeah. that house too. Yep. Tomaselli has picked up a little bit, you know, and he's I'm sure he's Raising a fan of the show. Yep. Yep. He's of picked up, but nobody can keep up with the day, right? So we were talking about that, and I was complimenting on you know on his house and his old man. You know, I know his old man; he's insane. He yeah. he, he does that. He's into it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you came in and then it, the, the and conversation the out of the room. Well, it was it, I, I, because it made me think because you have that beautiful downtown building in downtown house and where where the Marsden Law Group is is located. They have this beautiful building, yet they're lacking some Christmas decorations. Oh, they're not lacking some Christmas decorations. <laughs> they're lacking any Christmas decorations. Yes. And don't get me wrong. I'm a I'm a happy holidays guy. So. Any holiday you want to you want to yeah, celebrate yeah, you, during yeah, the season, yeah, yeah. there's got to be some lights that go along with it. So put up some lights. So people say, "Well, I'm Jewish. Oh, I'm, I don't. You know, we don't celebrate Christmas. I don't care. Put up some lights to celebrate something for the season. That's what that's just, well, just to be festive, you might say. Exactly. Right? Just doesn't to have, be festive. Doesn't have, it's a very non-denominational. Festivity, right? exactly. Sure. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I hear you. I yeah, I'm hear not. You. I'm not one of those like. Oh, if you don't say Merry Christmas, then you're. Nah, nah, yeah, I don't yeah, care yeah, about yeah, that. It's, about that. No, I see. I see. It's about. It's about. Putting it's about kind of celebrating the season sure. because it's and it's the end of the year. And, and it's been a terrible year. Well, it's, it's been a it's miserable been, year. If you're going to celebrate a, something, let's celebrate the end of 2020. Exactly. Right? Absolutely and, right. Yep. And, but it. But it's also the the a time where you know. Um, because of the Christmas season, because of the Christmas sure, holiday, sure. people get time off. So there's yeah. there's a, often time a lot of people are, are able to take time off. To, so yeah, why not? Why not do it? Why not well, like well, for have those a people little... who have some time off if they want to come down and do some decorating at 847 <laughs> Washington Street? They're welcome to come down. I may have to go over. Hang may, a wreath, put up a light. Yeah, I may sure, throw. I may down. I may throw some lights. The only uh, we're, the other thing we're joking about is that J, uh, Jay's building is is somewhat is somewhat dated. Our age, vintage, I say. vintage, yeah, as the kids yeah, say. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, plug it in. You might want to be careful when you, you know, when you put that plug. You might want to, you want to check with, uh, make sure that all. No, the, no, no. Don't, I'll, uh, I'll turn the light on. Don't yeah. turn the light on. I'll turn the light on. <laughs> Stay away. Don't yeah. hurt yourself. Sign here. Sign here. Yeah. Can I plug this into this plug, which is plugged into that other plug? Yeah. Yep. Try, why should that? Why would that be a problem? That's exactly right. So yeah. So uh, no, we. Uh, it's funny. I was telling you the story when we first when we first moved into the building, and uh, it was our first holiday season of the building, and. Uh, I have two top-notch uh, staff folks. Overqualified. Yep, overqualified, yeah. who are phenomenal, phenomenal staff, Kristen and Lauren. And Lauren says to me, so what, what kind of, uh, what kind of you know, festive lights are we putting up? What's the, de- <laughs> what's the holiday decoration <laughs> what, what do you? Wh- where's the box that you that's need right, me to that's start? Right, yeah. That's right, Where's the box that we start pulling out? How do we do this? <laughs> and I said to her, oh, such box does not exist. <laughs> and uh, I said, it's uh, not my thing. And she's like, what do you mean it's not your not thing? I said. Just not, uh, not really, not really, uh, not something that I'm, uh, you know, jumping out of bed for in the morning. She's like, okay, all right, that's fine. So there's been some pressure. There's been some pressure in the I'm office. Putting, I'm going to put some pressure to, on you right to, now to, in to the air. Some, to bring some festivity down there. So we'll, we'll see what happens. All I right. did, I did. Uh, you got a little time. I did, I, and I broke your heart with that. We have some stuff. The batteries just don't work. <laughs> so you were like, really? Buys you know, the only thing that's keeping you from having a festive a vibe down there is a couple of double A's. All right, all right. 
So we'll see what we can do. Yeah, but it's a, um, it's a no, gorgeous building. It's, that's it, right. However, that's right. when it doesn't have lights on during the holiday season, then it, it looks it almost like it, it looks bad. Like it oh, stands, it stands out. out. Oh, it, it stands, stands out. Right? Absolutely like, stands what out. What is up with that guy? Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. A, it's yeah. like a missing tooth is what that's it looks right. like. That's exactly it's like what it is. Scrooge and Marley on the top of it is what it should say. <laughs> Um, so, so this this kind of brings me into so so why what's another real reason for the for the holiday? So, a, a, as you mentioned, two, 2020 has been a you know you can't make it up any worse for for many of us. Um, it, but it's also uh, it's another year where I'm I'm sure that a lot of us right now we've we've mentioned this before, particularly around the Thanksgiving time, is that there's so much that you know people are now kind of realizing that they have to be grateful for where. You know, like kind of the the reality snowball that kind of hit everybody in the face with 2020. Now they're like, hey, you know what? There's a lot of stuff that's not, you know, that 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 I that's still good. You know, that's still oh, yeah. that's yeah. still, you know, that that I really, you know, I'm, you know, if you know, God forbid, if you've had anybody who's been sick or who's passed away who's been affected by, you know, by the whole pandemic, then then that's heartbreaking and heart wrenching. But many of us haven't, so many of us like, you know, that's that's something to be to be to be grateful for um to be grateful for the fact if if people who have had COVID 19 and and kind of pulled through it right sure. you know yeah. that's that's something to be grateful for. and then and then all the other things you know you know it's kind of like when when these when these big you know eye-opening kind of reality sets in you know events happen it, it enables you to kind of take time and say look i've got a lot to be i've got a lot to be grateful sure. for and we have we have a lot to be thankful for and you know, that kind of carries into kind of how you, you know, kind of how you, you make your plan kind of moving forward, you know. So, so if, you know, when, when we talk about finances and we say, all right, you know, maybe I lost my, you know, wherever I'm, wherever I'm at right now because yeah. of my finances, uh, you know, there's, there's, it's not, it's not like the glass is always half empty, right? There's, right. there's some things that, that people can do and, and people say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I have, I have a bunch of debt. Like, how am I going to, how am I going to get, like, they just kind of seem they have these, insurmountable hills that they need to climb and that's not really the case that there's there's i always feel like there you know we always kind of say there's, there's always a, a way there's always a plan and you know you heard it from your you know from your your legal and finance guys here it's it's only money right, right. you right. know it's it's only money so there's a lot of other things that are far more important than money although money is you know it's important it enables you to do a lot of things the fact that don't 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 lose your bananas on money, right? Yeah. Well, let's think about where we are, right? Remember, we, we we nine months ago, eight months ago, nine months ago, something like that. We we when this first thing when this thing first broke, we it talked was about like almost twelve months ago. Right? Well, I'm saying, yeah, we, like we, in January, but I'm saying right? like we like we probably get into this conversation around this in March. Yeah, I think is when we started March is when it got ugly. That's yeah. right. That's right. And 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 at the time, and, and it's, you know, it's quick how you know sort of your memories change a little bit, you know. But at the time, we focused on. Three parts of this problem, three parts of this project, if you will, and one of them was we're in the beginning of it, right? And we talked about there's always a beginning, a middle, and an end, right? And and at the time in March, and I, I was explaining this to somebody the other day, we didn't know what that looked like, and we talked about that on this yeah. show. We said, look, you know, if you we have, br a, we broke that news, we broke on this that show. news. Well, we broke we broke that concept. We broke that concept. It was, I, I of, mean, of you know, it was groundbreaking at the time. It's, but we, somebody who's written a book about it, I'm sure, <laughs> which I'm sure that we are not going to get any credit for, no, oh, yeah, or royalties. <laughs> but so what we talked about this: a beginning, middle, and end. And when we and it was the and when it was the beginning, what we talked about was this is the beginning of the beginning, right? It sounds crazy, right? It sounds like you know, it sounds like I'm like I'm uh, uh, with Don Rumfeld, right? We, it's the beginning of the beginning. We didn't know what a middle looked like, and we absolutely didn't know what an end looked like, right? So there was a lot of talk about it. But we just kept saying, look, there's kind of three parts to this project. And, and the first part is figuring out, okay, this is the beginning. How do we deal with it? At some point, we'll reach the midpoint of, of what's going to happen. And then at some point, we'll know, you know, we, we'll know what the end looks like. We, we'll, we might have a ballpark idea of when the end is out there. And it might not be in the very near term, but you could at least see where this whole thing goes. And, and I think now you know, you're talking about how people have been affected this year and some things to be to be upbeat and, and, and you know and things to be grateful for. And I think we've reached that point where you could say, look, you know, I'm, I'm not I can't tell you the date that we can all take these masks off. Right. But I know it's out there. And, and, and I and I and, and I yeah. feel with a little bit more certainty 
that at some point that will happen, you know, and there's, you know, I, I was watching the news today and I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I was getting emotional watching the, the, the discussion around the rolling out of the vaccine sure. and seeing people get the vaccine sure. and seeing how they responded to getting the vaccine and watching the great Tony Fauci interviewed, <laughs> interviewed and, and, and Jay, if you know him as well as Jay does, you can call him Tony <laughs> and talking about, you know, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, there, you know, there was a plan, right? right? And so, yes, out of all of the things that I think we've struggled with this year, I would, I would first and foremost, I would put that on my list of things to be grateful for, which is we could see where this thing goes. Now, yeah. Right. We, we know where that we know what the end looks like. I'm not sure when it's going to get here. It's going to be it's going to get here differently for everybody. Yeah, but and there's going to be like. right, and there's going to be you know casualties, and there's going to be more you know more damage. Yeah, we're not kind of, yeah we're not out of the woods by any means. That's done along the way. However, there is that there is that hope, right? There is that kind of I you know that that kind of light at the end of this you know which which seems like a long tunnel. Yep. But you know when you say less than a year, and you know when you say less than a year from when we're like hey there's something going on like overseas and and there's this weird disease. And, you know, all of a sudden China locked down, you know, a whole city. Right. And we're like, whoa, that's pretty bad. I, you know, that, that's not, you know, that, I, w I wouldn't want to have to deal with that. But, you know, and, and then you didn't give it much thought. And, you know, and, you know, you, you know the rest of the story. And then it, it became. But I mean, even, like, even, even if it is a year, even if it's a year, it's, it's a year of hopefully forward progress. Yeah, my, my point is forward that a year progress. doesn't seem like that. It doesn't seem not in the, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, we, you know, we talk about, you know, when people talk about, well, you know, kind of the, it could always be worse, you know, you know, you, you, you people I, I've heard like these kind of wartime, you know, analogies were like, well, in World War Two, people, you know, World War Two went on for five years, you know, where people were getting, you know, you know, it, under these like austere conditions for five years. Yeah, that's that's true. But it's like so. So when you when you compare to where we are now. One year from from where we were back in the in the January February time frame to where we are now in the yeah. middle of December, uh, uh, so much has happened, so much bad. But 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 then you know with respect to the the fact that there's potentially a a a virus that is going to that's going to make all this not nearly as awful as as it is yeah. as it is now, is is pretty remarkable. So. So that kind of, you know, and again, like you've you said, we're not out of the woods. There's no, you know, it's not like that there, there's plenty of work left to do, like hard work left to do. However, the, the fact that there's a, that there's this, that there's hope, that there's, there's real hope, like hope that you can see, hope that now people can put their hands on is, is, is a real, yeah. that's a, that's a, that's a, it's a, game it's a big motivator. It's a game changer. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, a big changer. motivator. Yeah. So, so the idea of, of being able to kind of, you know, kind of translate that thought process into, you know, into kind of wherever you are financially. And some people are fine. Some people, uh, you know, when I, and I, when I'm thinking about like my client base, there's people that are, that are in trouble. Like there's yeah. people that are, you know, just because of they, they haven't been able, you know, for whatever reason, they've lost their jobs. There's just, they've been affected by this economically worse than other people. And that's a, you know, that's, that's one of those things where, you know, hope, all hope is not lost. Like right. there's, right. there's ways to get through that. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that today. Yeah. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back. Uh, I'm dying to hear what you guys are thinking about on that side of the aisle. Yeah. And, uh, and then we'll talk about some wicked, exciting, uh, legal stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cause it is wicked. Always. Exciting. It's always, always exciting. All right. Wicked, and is, does it have to do with Christmas? No. Cause if it does, then I definitely want to talk. All right. We'll, <laughs> we'll be right not. back. I'm on the alarm. My FM 101.3, Jay Mars and John Drone. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we're back. Money in the Law, My FM 101.3. Jay Marsden with the Marsden Law Group. John Drohan, main effort financial. Christian Manning, the con. Keeping us, uh, keeping us handsome. Turning back the years. <laughs> that, that the speak, for your, speak for yourself there, Tom Selleck. <laughs> <laughs> speak okay, for yourself you there, want... Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it right there. You go right, go right. That's how you do it. That's how you turn it back. Well, oh, he looked, you look like you were around in the 70s. I turn was. Turn back the I clock. Yeah. That's right. Turn that's it back. Right. Yeah, turn it back. <laughs> Speaking of the seventies, what was I? What was I scrolling through? And, you know, YouTube, the the, uh, the 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 reservoir of all things awesome. You know, you can just basically right. find anything. Yep. And uh, going back and watching uh, some old concert footage from Live Aid. Wow. And uh, well, the, yeah, Live Aid was that was the that was the. I mean, 
that was that was arguably one of the greatest concerts of all time. Oh yeah, like oh, one yeah. of the, one of the greatest like you know event concerts of all time. And then for and those, it was an event. Yeah, yeah. And so and you've seen the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, I'm yes. sure. Yeah. So and yeah. so that's the that's kind of like the the you know the, the the pinnacle, the all the all the all things pinnacle of Queen, where they were you know they not that Queen hadn't done anything before then. Queen of course was, but but that's when you know post Freddie Mercury finding out that he had AIDS and yeah. that and. Yeah. And then they 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 did that performance, which, you know, there were great performances oh, yeah. in Live Aid. There was none better than the yeah. Queen that was that was a, that was a tremendous performance. And what I was watching was uh, the Led Zeppelin performance, uh, right? right? With <laughs> who on drums? Do you remember? No, Phil Collins. Phil, that's right, Phil Collins. Phil Collins played, yeah, played drums on that. Right. Yep. And I believe, if memory serves me correct, didn't he jump on the Concord, and he performed? Because they had two concerts. Yep. So he performed, I believe, in London, and then jumped on the Concord, and then flew over to perform in the U.S. Yeah. I think that was the story. Of course, I think that was like, you know what? That's the like, story I believe. Sure. Uh, yeah. Seventies. Why yeah. not? Right. Yep. Why not? Right. Yep. And so there might have been some partying on that flight. Maybe I'm going to suggest. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe they might have partied like it was. You know, the seventies. But uh, actually, it was the eighties. But it was the eighties okay. in the yeah, concert app, But yeah. they, you know, part of like the seventies <laughs> on the Concord. Right? <laughs> Those guys right? were thinking in the seventies. They right. They were like, like out of the seventies. Right? Yeah. And so that's what was making me. You know, talk about guys that look young, and you're watching, you know, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page, and you watch them do their thing, and uh, it's pretty funny to see all that stuff from from back in the eighties, and just amazing. Well, it, well, it's funny. So, so the eighties now, of course, are are there. You know, in in the in in the younger gen, you know, in the in yeah. the Gen Z, you know, right now, no, there. I, I, I don't. I forget all the letters. I can't keep. Well, well, th like our kids, right? Sure. So our so our kids so our kids now. There's some there's some like, you know, some nostalgia of going back and and seeing the. I, I, my kids like, oh, I, I, you know, she has a couple concert T-shirts and stuff yeah. that you know from like from '80s bands and and it's funny because. You know, I see something from you know. You and I are children of the '80s, right? So I see something from the '80s, and I'm and I'm, and I'm like, how much time you got for me to talk about this? Because I'm going to tell you 15 boring stories about my me when I was in high school about this and what yes. happened with with the all impact, the, the impact it had on my all, life. Yeah, oh, all, yeah, yeah. All, all just because I you're wearing the, a yeah. shirt that says Journey on it, right? And I'm like, Some you know, three times. yeah. So my yeah. So my kids are like, just you know, they, that's they're it almost scares them away where yeah. they're like, don't. No, no, God, Dad. No, well, I'm good. look, I'm, I've been on the receiving end of a lot of your stories, and uh, they scared me away. So I can absolutely understand you know why your kids you know what? That's might be scared away. You know, if you don't like detail, ladies, ladies, I feel your pain. I feel your pain every week for an hour, and then I, I feel your pain a lot. If you don't like detail, then then that's your. You know what? That I, I figured you as an attorney, you like details, yeah, right? That you would right. you would appreciate. Yeah, we that. love yeah. details. We love yeah. the details. It's all it's always about the details. Yep. So. All right. So we're talking about uh, we're talking about some of the. You know, like kind of the the glass is half full approach to finances, particularly if you've had kind of a, a, yeah, a rough a go year. of it yeah, tough year. Uh, through twenty twenty. So the first thing I want to talk about is debt. Okay, so so that's that's kind of oftentimes where people find themselves if they if you know if, and it's not rocket science, right? You know, if I if I don't have enough money, if you know if I don't have enough money to pay you know to pay X, then I'm I'm operating in the red, right? Sure. So I don't make enough, and I and it costs me more or less. I'm operating in the red. And oftentimes that'll result in me going into debt. So depending upon what kind of, what type of debt that you have, and oftentimes it's like consumer debt, so it's credit card debt, you know, people come to me and they'll say, well, we have, you know, we have really, really bad credit card debt and we really want to, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of credit card debt, but it's not the end of the world and it's, and right. it's definitely manageable. And, and, you know, so if someone says to me, I have $150,000 in credit card debt. That's a lot. Like that's a yeah. that's a that's a that's a dip, that's a that's a game changer based on on the fact that you know there's a reason that you got to that much debt and and then the the fact that credit cards of course are are usually an astronomically higher interest rate than any other type of debt. So that's a that's a big number. So that, that's that's something that we rarely, rarely, rarely ever see. No, but it, but it needs a, but it, but you know from being in the business, but it needs immediate attention because it's a cash flow killer. Yeah. And oh. so you really have to. I mean, you know, you, you see people that talk about managing debt on a much smaller scale, and that can be burdensome. Yeah. So so I'm I'm using this as kind of like the far yeah, extreme, extreme example. example. Sure. Yeah. And, and and if if you if you're in that situation, if you're if you're north of like you know, a hundred thousand dollars, then something needs to happen immediately. And yeah. it's going to be a, it's going to be a big change. And it could be something of the fact of you may end up 
claiming bankruptcy. You may end up, you may go into, in, into some type, some form of, of bankruptcy. You may end up, if you have, if you have, you know, tangible assets, you may have to sell those because oh, yeah. that needs to get addressed immediately. Because like Jay said, that's, that, that's going to be, that, that's going to, th there's no way you're going to be able to, to catch up with that. There's no way you're going to be able to just kind of whittle that down and pay cool. it off. And then, and, and there's, there's agencies that are, that, that will, you know, will kind of take on this debt for you and they'll, and they'll settle, they'll settle yeah. the debt for you, but then you're beholden to them. So off, sometimes that may be an, an option, but whatever it is in those extreme cases, that needs to immediately, you know, there, there, there's going to be some super big change happens. So what I'm more, what I see more often is that someone will say, well, we have a lot of debt. And I'll say, well, what's a lot? And they'll say, I have, well, if someone says I have, we have $10,000. I'm like, that's not a lot. That's, no. that's not a lot. Um, I, I mean, it's, it's not nothing, right? It's sure. not, it's not that's zero. Insignificant. No. And, and, and you'll pay some, some real interest on that. Um, but you know, if someone says, well, we have $15,000, we have $20,000. I'm like, okay, that's, that's not zero. We're, we're yeah, we're, we're touching on a problem area. Yeah, yeah, and 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 so right. So the first question, what's the first question you ask is like, how did we get there, yeah. right? How did how do we get there? And and if the answer is we put an addition on the house, if the answer is uh, my husband lost his job and yeah. I'm you know and I had to cut back on my hours because yeah. we couldn't we, the kids. So, so there's we bought a, a car. We bought you know there, there's, well, there, some, there's, there's a, some reasons. Or, or we had to yeah we had to put a roof on because yeah. you know a tree fell on the roof and we you know and, and the insurance didn't help us and blah 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 whatever the, if there's so those are those are real legitimate. I can put my finger on it. Yeah. Reasons, and you can say, okay, that, that's fixable. That's that's easy. Yeah. It's when someone says, you know, I have twenty three thousand dollars in credit card debt, and you say, well, how did you get there? And like, I, I don't know. You right. know, I, I don't. I, I can't really. Well, that's a, like, yeah, that's a different. This, yeah, that's different. I mean, and you can probably tease it out. I mean, if you went back and looked at it, if you really kind of do sort of a not an audit, but you gonna you go through the exercise of saying, look, how you know, you can go back and trace. Hopefully. You could trace some of those. Well, you have to do right? that. Yeah, right? that's right. That's right. But you look at, but I think what you want to find out is you want to find out that there's there's real big reasons, right? Yeah. Like you, that, that's an easier solution when somebody says, "Well, the furnace died on us, and so we need to replace the furnace." That was eighty five hundred bucks, or right. that was ninety five hundred bucks. You're like, okay, okay, that's that's a so you take that ninety five and you shave that off the top. Now you're only looking at like five or six grand in debt. Not a big deal, right? Yep. So there's real reasons for that. So the idea that that there's that that you have this debt that and then you know and then people you know who are especially people who are not used to who, to carrying like that kind of debt they'll be you know it becomes like this big albatross around their neck that they they you know that drags them down and so that's the you know that's the thing like look that's that's a manageable thing so as soon as as Jay said as soon as we can identify kind of what the what the cause of it like and what, you know and the, again the cause isn't it's not this you know complicated math problem it's like you spent more money than you made, yeah. right? And for what for whatever the reasons are. So once we identify like what the reasons are, and then you say, okay, look, there's there's ways to get out of it. There's ways to to kind of get you know to get to get over this to, to get it, because you know we've always talked about debt, uh, like especially consumer debt, as being uh, like an anti-investment, right? So if I have if I'm carrying twenty thousand dollars in credit card debt, and I'm paying seventeen percent interest rate on that. Then that's 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 an anti-investment, right? That's I'm, I'm yeah, not making money. It, it, it's it's an anti-investment, but here's what's weird about it, right? We 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 discovered this. We bought a car a year ago, and and we don't carry. You, you, a lot. you discovered automobiles. Well, we discovered the the iron horse, I believe, is how is what you guys refer to it as. <laughs> that's but, right. But 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 you but, Amish is that an Amish mustache? That's exactly <laughs> what it is. That's right. That's right. I've got some wonderfully handcrafted no wonder, made furniture down on downstairs. I'm going to no show wonder you, you don't have any show. batteries for your candles That's because right. they're actual they're candles. They're actual real candles. Handmade, by the way. Handmade, right? So, so, so when we went to buy a car, we don't, we don't carry any credit cards, right? We, yep. we don't use credit Everything, we use debit card for everything, right? Yeah. We don't, you know, the comings and goings, you know, we don't, you know, we're outside of like, we're not making any big purchases, you know, or you, you kind of, you kind of settle into a routine, right? So we're not. So we, we didn't really, all we had were debit cards. Right. So we went to get a loan, and the woman at the dealership says, this is weird. I said, what's weird? She said, you don't have any credit cards. I said, Jay said you're weird. Said, no, I'm you're not weird. weird, you're weird, yeah. But, but, but believe it or not, it, the, it, it, was, it was confounding to the people at the, at the car dealership 
and and they they were just completely thrown for a loop. Was your credit score like either zero or a thousand? I mean, well, she basically <laughs> she she said that she goes we, this is she goes you're the I, I was the second or third person that she said that had come in this week and she said that has had this problem. She called yeah. it a problem. Ooh, right? Yeah, a big problem. And I said, what do you mean it's a problem? It's not my problem. It's your problem. Pro- you have a problem. <laughs> you're the problem. You're weird. She said, you don't. You don't so, <laughs> you're so, suspended. So, 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 my, so my, my, my point is to your comment about, you know, managing, the, managing your, your, you know, kind of managing your debt and getting your debt down is important. But at the same time, you, you have to, you, like, it, it becomes a, it's like your, 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 your credit score badge of honor that you have some. So if you're if you're having some challenges with it, you, you kind of need to corral it and get around it. Sure. You know, well that's the thing, right? So so I'm sure that when you went to you know, but they when you when you were purchasing that car and getting a loan for that car, I'm sure they were like they were saying, well your your loan your 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 debt to income ratio is very low because you you don't have any of this consumer debt because you don't. No, but the, but my point is that they treat this they treat that type of consumer debt very differently than they treat like your mortgage. Sure. Like that like you're having a mortgage didn't really matter. It didn't really they didn't really care about the mortgage. Yeah. It was more about how are you handling this consumer debt? How are you handling this unsecured debt? Exactly. Well, and because you don't have any, they're like, well, you're now believe it or not, you're potentially a credit risk because you don't have any unsecured debt. Yeah. It was really it was it was a very bizarre. Yeah, you don't you like know. to buy things. Well, I'm, that's the other thing. <laughs> Cheap as the day is long. Uh, so, so you flip know. a nickel three times before he spends it. That's right. That's right. That's bites right. it. What's wrong, yeah. wrong with the bus, kids? You know, <laughs> you need to do it like I did. It's you know? a car, right? That's right. Do yeah. it like I did. It's it. a Charlie card. Yeah. Go get him. Go get him. So, uh, so, so if I have, so when someone says, "Well, I, I, you know, that that's that's usually kind of the first indicator that things aren't going the way they yeah. want it is is they they're carrying credit card debt, so. What we'll do is we'll like look. Th- this is something that we need to address yeah. right now. So we need to we need to take care of this. And it's not that the credit. It's not like if, you know if you have. I mean, if you have you know a hundred thousand dollars in the bank and you have you know thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt, I'll probably tell you at that point like it's time to pay off the credit card debt yeah. unless there's some big. I go and 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 for and using the 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 reason the reason of if if you gave me thirty thousand dollars to invest. I don't know what I'm going to get in the short term. I don't know what 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 return I'm going to get on that. There's no guarantee. You may no. not get any return on no. that. However, if you give if you have thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt, I guarantee you, as they will in writing, that you will pay whatever the interest rate is. So yeah. they're fifteen yeah. percent, seventeen percent interest. Yeah. On there that. needs to be a plan to attack that. Whether you throw thirty at it, or you throw a thousand at it, or That's you it. throw fifteen at it, and you throw you know fifteen from your hundred and fifteen out of cash flow. I mean, there needs to be that discussion. Right? So the first thing you do is 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 you make that plan, and right. and and you make the plan not to say, hey, we're gonna we're gonna whittle down this credit card debt. You make the plan, you know, based on all the things that you know as time is right now. You make that plan to pay it all the way off, yeah. and and you put it and you put it a, a numbers and and date and particularly a date to it that this can that you know by this time next year. Based on everything that we know now, and if we're able to do this, you know, barring any, you know, unforeseen events, sure, we can pay this. This debt will then go away. So that, it, and you need to, and you need to do it because you you, you need the 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 you, you need what that debt allows you to do to you know to either to, to further refinance some of this yeah. stuff and things like that. Like you you need that in your pocket to kind of get you to the solution. Yeah. So so if you're in a position where let's say you're in a position right now where you know, you're you're. It's because you're you're just spending. You, your your costs are too much, right? So the first thing we'll look, you know, because again, we'll we'll make a plan to get rid of the debt. But then usually, what goes along with that is is the plan of how we're gonna how we're gonna enable that to happen. Yep. So there's gonna be the plan of, it. You know, we got here because our costs exceeded our income. So what can we do? What costs can we cut? What co- What 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 things can we reduce? And maybe there's things such as. Um, maybe you're like, well, I we have thirty thousand, but I maxed out my four hundred one k. Oh, my favorite phrase that you use for this scenario is, "Let's manufacture some money." Exactly, I love it. I exactly. love it. So, I love it. I think so, about it all the time. So, the, so at this point, we're going to say, okay, how can we how can we generate some some more positive cash flow by by cutting back on some of our costs? So you kind of go through your regular costs, right? So right. Your, your things like, well, 
you know, do I need this cable package? You know, do I, sure. you know, do I, and then, and then you look at, you know, or, or, or some of, you know, can we turn Gym membership that you're not using, for example, right, exactly. right, you know, absolutely. and, and, and all of those things seem small and insignificant, but you know, if, if right now, most of the time when people come in, they have this, this debt, they say like, well, what are you paying for? Well, we're paying, you know, I pay $500 a month, right? $500 a month on a $30,000 or 25,000, whatever the number is. Sure. And and that's and that's kind of like the minimum, but maybe a little bit more. But it's it, but it's a lot, right? It's a big number. It's a huge if, number. If I can manufacture, you know, two hundred dollars a month or three hundred dollars a month, then that all of a sudden that changes things, right? Yeah. So then, so now I'm paying down principal, you know, at a at a rate of you know twenty four hundred or thirty six hundred dollars a year more than I would be if I was if you know just before. So things like your gym membership, things like. You know, reducing your electricity, re reducing energy costs, yeah. re you know, reducing, you know, other overhead costs, like, you know, other bills, you know, maybe you're, you know, maybe, you know, I, I mean, for us, I, you know, I, I, there, there's like the subscriptions to all these different channels, like these streaming channels. And I look at them, I'm like, what is all this? I have no well, idea. You bring, uh, I, I, and one of the things that you see all, a lot is, and we don't, it sneaks up on you, right? If you, and this is an important exercise to go through, sit down, right? Pull out your bank statement for the last three months and look at, because remember, everything is all about, well, let's just put on auto pay. Let's yeah. put on auto pay. And all of a sudden, you start to realize you have all these things on auto pay that, to your point, in the grand scheme of things, is it going to add up to a lot? It could. Yeah. You know, like, for example, you get you know, Apple Music. When's the last time you turned on Pandora? Yeah. If you're a Pandora, Spotify, but you probably don't even realize you're probably getting hit for four bucks a month on one of these subscription services that, that you haven't used sure. and you're probably not going to use or it's time to make a decision if you're going to use. And, and and then you're doing this in all these other areas and this stuff starts to add up to become real, real money. And and that's now that's real money that you need, right? Yes. It's where, where maybe before you kind of got into this hole before the pandemic started, you didn't notice it because your cash flow was fine. Yep. But now... You need it, right? Because, because again, because you know, in our example, we're using the, this. We have to pay down this debt. So, anything that I can manufacture, anything that I can, so I can come up with, you know, via via budgeting. And not, I'm not saying killing yourself. I'm not saying like you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna, you know, you're, you're gonna walk to work instead of like, you know, putting gas in your car right. or things like right. that. That's. I mean, I'm not talking about, but I'm talking about things that that are that are kind of some the low hanging fruit. That Look, you can okay, get away. I'll give you one example. This happens every year. I'm always amazed by this. If you have not, in the last, I don't know, three four years, had somebody sit down and look over your insurance policies, yeah, it's time, it's, because you want to talk about low hanging fruit. Yep. I mean, I am always amazed that they, they, they automatically hand you a renewal notice, and you think to yourself, oh, okay, this must be, it must automatically go up like this. <laughs> And then you go next year or a year after that, and you go to the insurance guy and say, hey, can you look at this? And they go, oh, yeah, we can save you money on that. I'm not saying you're going to run to some, like, online cheap. I'm saying find a find a reputable sure. insurance broker. Have somebody broker take a look at it. And sit down and say, That's what they hey, do. What, what, can you, what can you do for me? Because, I mean, you're either going to get the same coverage and it's going to be cheaper, or you're going to get better coverage. Right? Yeah, and pay the same amount of money, yep. right? That's one area. And I think the other area, if I'm, if I'm thinking about it right, is your uh, your food bill. Wow. One of the biggest places that you want to manufacture some money to address these debt issues and kind of redeploy some of those assets, it's always the grocery bill. Yeah. And 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 maybe this year, because of all of the restrictions in the pandemic, maybe you haven't gone out to eat as much. So you've kind of like let loose on, you know, that's, oh, yeah. know that's what we have. You know, we were like, all right, you know, we... A lot of, and, a lot of takeout because yeah. you're not going out. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Right. Yep. So, yep. So, there, so there's that, there's that... You know, and I'm not going to tell people how to do it because I don't do it as well as I would have liked. Sure. But I, I know, I know how to do it. I know right. that if I, I know that I will save money if I go to the store uh, once or maybe twice a week as opposed to going every night yeah. or every day. Yeah. Right. I, yep. I just do it because you just buy stuff. I also know I will save money if I go to the store and only I go to the store. And my kids don't go to the oh, store. Oh yeah, yeah, you my can't make that. You can't make that a team and effort. They, yeah, and yeah. then they start, and they start. Oh yeah, I'm gonna swing by stop and job and blah blah blah, right? And, and 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 it turns into, you know, and and again, th that's real money. That's right. you know, when you when you're talking fifty, a hundred, two hundred, sometimes more a week. Right. That's eight hundred dollars a month. That's a, yeah, that's right. And then you look at it and you say eight hundred dollars a month, and and what, we won't even get into how much of it gets tossed, right? Because you're like, oh, we didn't really make good sort of, you know deployment decisions around, you know, how much do we spend? 
and and I was listening. I forget the podcast. I was listening to a podcast, and they were was talking it about for financial. Podcast? Was not the man for financial. <laughs> but they, what they were talking about was this idea of kind of automating a lot of this. Meaning, yeah. look, if it's t if if Tuesday's taco night, yeah. then make it taco night. Sure. Like, don't try to reinvent. Like, how do we come up with seven brand spanking new meals every single week? If it's pasta on Wednesday, it's pasta on Wednesday. If it's tacos Prince on Tuesday, night. if it's steak, if it's chicken, because <laughs> what it does is it a makes it a heck of a lot easier to budget it makes it a heck of a lot easier to buy it. Yeah. And then you talk about where you're not throwing money out because you know exactly what you need because you've done it, right. Right? right? Now, here's an area where I don't recommend <laughs> cutting back. <laughs> I, okay? was just, I was just going to say, okay, right? the other area that you need to cut back on, obviously, is your beer bill. Oh, you yeah. bite, you bite, you <laughs> get out of this room right now. You shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Don't you dare cut back Don't on you that. dare talk about that. There's a couple. Don't, don't be afraid to give, you know, again, it's not about, it's not about, it's not about denying yourself. No, you're killing yourself. yourself right? It's not about denying no. yourself. It's not no, about denying yourself. It's not about killing yourself. You know, if you're going to do all this work, you're going to save all this money, you need a glass to raise to celebrate your frugality. So it's, let's, it, it's, it's okay, right? You, it's you, fine. It's, it, it'll, again, what we're doing is it's we're fine. building, we're, we're, we're kind of retooling your budget here, right. right? We're retooling your budget because what we want to do is we want to direct money. We want, we want the capability to direct money to pay down this debt because that, that debt is like, has to be taken care of. Look, and if that means going from a single malt scotch to blended <laughs> scotch, you, you know, that's make the make the sacrifice. Make the make, move. <laughs> do it for your family. Make the sacrifice. Make the move. Yep. You want to go from the. Uh, Not many people can make that sacrifice, and it's a big. It's a big. It's a big thing to ask. It's a, it's a challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge. But you know, it's again, it's something that you kind of you think about. You kind of you know process it a little bit. Um, and maybe 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 talk about it with a friend, have a discussion. You know, um, talk about it, test it, test yep. it, test it, <laughs> test it with works. test it with a good advisor, test it, test with, it with your advisor. By the way, exactly. And, and remember, were you to come to, for example, to your attorney and talk about that with your attorney, <laughs> the entire conversation is obviously confidential. I can't disclose. You can't talk anything. about it. So you can no. talk about all your concerns about moving from a like single malt to a blend. We can talk as long <laughs> as you want. That's fine. We can talk as long as both the single or the blended last. And then when that's gone, the meeting's over. But that's how we do things. Obviously, we are not promoting, we're not telling you <laughs> to drink, to go to your attorneys and drink a bottle of scotch every time you go. That's, that, that, we're not saying that. Uh, however, that is, that well, is not part of your fee agreement. However, the, but but you bring up a good point. I, actually, in, in in our in our making light Ingest. of this, it, it, you 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 do bring up a good point. Is that when you when you budget when you when you start doing this, you can't just all of a sudden go like you know cold turkey. You can't go and, cold turkey. And no. say, and and be, you know when you use the, when you talk about the food bill, we say all right, well we're just going to eat like you know beans on toast, you know for the you know for the, you know three nights a week. You're not going to do that. That that or or we're not going to get ever get take up. You're not going to do that. You, no, the, the, no, it's going right. to happen. It's going right. to be a time that's when either you want right. to or you have to. And you so, can, you know what you got to have cheat days. Just like if we're taking it, just like if you were dieting, you're going to have a cheat day. You're going to say, <laughs> look, you know what we need to we need you know we we've 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 allotted as part of the plan. We've allotted ourselves one, you know, one take on my night. hazy it's, IPA cheat days have been <laughs> increasing. Yeah, it's not, it's not seven <laughs> nights. The point is, it's not seven. It's always moderation, right? Yeah. So you're you're talking about wrapping your hands around some of this, uh, you know, some of this debt debt reduction strategies, and to your point, and finding ways to manufacture money by looking at some of the ways you're spending some of your other money. All right, we're going to take one quick break, and then we'll be back uh, to talk a little bit more about this. I don't know what law stuff you're going to talk about. It's we're not going to be exciting. I don't know. All right, we'll, we'll, all right, we'll, uh, we'll be right back on MyFM 101.3, WMRC, First Class Radio, money, mo wait, money and the law, and the law. We'll be right back. Got it. And we're back, My FM 101.3, Jay Marsden with the Marsden Law Group, John Drohan, Main Effort Financial, and Christian at the helm, guiding us in, coming in hot to the dock here. It's getting a little, uh, you know, end of the year. Hey, you know what was great this year? Maybe you didn't have to worry about it. What's your big uh, October-ish plan that you guys have to, like, put all hands on deck for that you didn't have to do this year? Uh, the required minimum distribution. Bingo, yeah. minimum required distribution. <laughs> Fidelity did it a little bit different. We had a different way of saying it, but yeah, yeah there was no MRD calls this year. No, no frantic running around at the end of the end of the end of the In month, fact, end of the year. Th we we but we did have the we did have and and what of course what Jay's talking about is that this year because of the CARES Act. They've allevi alleviated the requirement for everybody. Eliminated, to, I think, is the word you were looking for. Go ahead, <laughs> I got it. Uh, to to take your required minimum distribution for this year. So if you were scheduled to take one, you didn't have to take it. Correct. You could take it if you wanted to. Sure, but you didn't have to take it. So we had, we had clients that were calling up like, "Hey, I didn't get my money yet," and I'm like, "Okay, well, here's the deal." 
you yep. you're we can take it you know and, and if you want to take it then you know but some guys you know they and the, the monthly people they were you know they're like they got it right, right. They, they didn't need it or they they did need it because it's part of their income yeah. but it's the 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 year-end guys who are like you know it's almost like they get their big year-end bonus they're like what do i, I do I with this yeah yeah i can't wait they're like hey uh where's where uh, where's my money i haven't gotten it yet i'm like yeah. all right well here's here's right and then and then it, and then unfortunately you know for them the, you, you say well you don't have to take it. Do you want to take it? You don't have to. Right. Do you need it? And they're like, huh. Oh, oh, now you give them something it, to think about. Now they can't decide. Nine out of ten times, let me call you back. Yeah. I'm going to call you back. Yep. <laughs> well, because we, the way we always ask the question is, are you taking it because you need it? Or are you taking it because Uncle Sam is telling you you, you have, have to, to take, take it? it. And yeah. then the answer is, hmm, I don't really know. Let me figure it out. So to I your don't point. need it, need it. Right. And then and then there's like the and then and then of course there's the little the angel and devil that sit on their sure. shoulder and then say, you know, no one knows that you have to take this, or that you don't have to take it, but you do have to. It's almost like the old, in the old National Guard days when guys used to tell their wives that they uh, they have to pay to be in the National Guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, two hundred bucks a drill, I have to pay, so I got to take money out of the account. Yeah. No, the, if it, when I was when I was selling the Bose Acoustic Wave door to door back in the day, we used to say to people. Do you like it, like it? Do you like it, want it, right? And that's how you feel about your MRD, right? Do you like it, like it? But do you like it, want it? Do you need yeah. to take it? Yep, that's right. That's right. So that's fine. That's true. We didn't we didn't have that. We didn't have the you know the requirement to have to take it. So yeah, that was uh, that was a little bit different this year. Yeah, um, yeah, that's it's a good. game changer. Good that's game good. changer. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So we were uh, we were reviewing kind of like some you know some techniques, like debt and management some, strategies, some debt management yep. strategy. You know, like you know some ability to to kind of again to 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 take take care of that of that issue and and not necessarily take care of it in one day or in like a, a, a really short period of time, but as to try and do it as sh in as short a period of time as you can um, by, by using some techniques. And, and then the other side of that is that if, if there's other ways to kind of get, you know, if, if the, if the debt was came from, let's say, because my, my roof, I needed a new roof yeah. or I needed a new boiler, or I needed a new car and I had to do it quickly then that's then that's okay. Then then, then that's an easy yep. fix. And and if you have some money on the side, or, or or let's say you may have some, you may have a home equity line of credit. We may say, look, here's the thing. This interest rate is three percent. This interest rate is fifteen percent. Maybe we can maybe we can we can in order. Let's yeah. get rid of this. But again, with a plan to pay it down, to to pay it off. But we may make some you know make some adjustments from a credit stamp from a from a you know from a, a loan standpoint. In order to alleviate that that higher well, interest rate and, loan, and the other part of that is, you know, people who are if, if you if you're sort of burdened by this type of debt, it really bothers. It weighs on you. Oh yeah, it and, really, and it's I mean, real. It's, it's a real it, thing. It, it, it's it's a it, it is, and it's now not so when you can start to sort of visualize, you know, chipping away at this thing or knocking this out of the uh, you know out of the out of contention, if you will, for being a, an issue. And then you can start to visualize, well, what would I do with that money if I had that money? Because that's the $64,000 question, right? Yep. If I could automatically just give you $600 extra a month for you to do something with it, save it, spend it, invest it, whatever it's going to be, and not have to be sort of burdened by that debt, that becomes a real, yep. that's liberating. That's, and that's really turning somebody around and saying, look, you, even if I gave you that money, you'd be able to go buy a new car. And you'd still have money to put in the bank. Sure. I mean, and, and I'm gonna, and then you, you know, you you guys would guide them in doing it in a way that says, look, let's let's build up your cash, you know, your your cash surplus here, so we don't find ourselves in this position again. Let's do it this way. So, I, you know, that's really, I think, the 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 the, the crux of the matter here is to be, is to be able to say to somebody, we have a plan to get rid of this, because your life is going to be better without it. We're going to yeah. improve your life. We're going to take this burden. We're going to lift this burden off you, and and you're going to. You're going to wake up and you're going to be thrilled because you've taken control. Yeah, and and that's the thing is you know we've kind of we, we we started this you know kind of in this you know at the end of the 2020 you know where people you know like they, they, you know there's you know this kind of I, maybe there's some hope in the in the you know with the pandemic and and also there's you know saying that there's hope you know if you're having a financial issue right yeah. and. And the other part of this is maybe you're maybe the, the reason you're in debt is just because you're out of work and and you're and you're just there's like this there's like you, you just you're not making enough money. Yep. Yeah. So in that case, then we make a plan to do that. So so again, Jay's point of as long as there's like a light at the end of the tunnel, as long as and maybe that tunnel's a little bit longer than you sure. want it to Absolutely. be. Absolutely. Yep. As long as there's a light at the end of the tunnel and 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 it may not be fun or pretty to get to that light at the end of the tunnel, but if you if you can construct a plan or construct at least a, 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 
a, a glide path to get to there, that changes everything. That yeah. that can, that changes your ability to say, okay, you know, you know, I I I know where we are now. I know it sucks, but it's going to be okay. Like it's and yeah. and that and that mindset is is what enables people to can then be able to you know pick up and. And figure stuff out, make some decisions. You know, and if you're gonna play around with that plan, then you play around with it. Yeah. If you if your if your game plan was I want this to be off my plate and done by the end of 2021, and you're not there, yeah. that doesn't mean that the plan was wrong. That just means that you have to change your 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 end game. You have to change your timeline. You got to do some plan. end game in game changes. That's right? it. That's yeah. it. That doesn't mean it was wrong. It just means okay, I was a little bit aggressive in my planning objectives, and I need to move this a little bit, and I'm gonna have to. So maybe we go to the middle of 2022. Okay, that's fine. We're still on, on, on track. That's still the goal. The, the objective is the right. same. And, and then you focus on it that way. And I think that's, that's, the, that's the way to tackle something like this. Yeah, and, and, you have to. You, 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 that's the way to. That's the way to. Because if you don't approach it that way, then, you know, if you don't, then you're going to be, you're, you're, it's like you're going to be treading water in the deep yeah. end of the pool. Yeah, and yeah. You don't you know, want, you know, nobody no wants that. Nobody wants that. Nobody so, yeah, wants put that. Put a plan. Put a plan together. <laughs> All right. So uh, before we, you, you had, a, you had some, some legal things you wanted to uh to bring up? Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't anything. It, was, it wasn't anything in particular. It was more just about a comment about. Uh, so we have a Facebook page that everyone's welcome to go visit, and, and you know you can follow. Is your all face of our on that Facebook page? No. Oh. And uh, <laughs> so one of the things that recently had come up, somebody had you know asked about you know whether or not. So we had posted some planning suggestions and some some theories around you know how you might be able to save some money if you're in the if you're in the nursing home uh, if you're in if you're in the middle of that fight right now and you're trying yeah. to deal with the nursing home and handling all that. And so we, you know, we posted some, some planning suggestions and some people's comments around, you know, our sort of planning suggestions and planning techniques sort of insinuated that we were in some way, shape or form, you know, playing fast and loose with Medicare rules or that we were somehow, Whoa. or that we were somehow, what the? we were somehow hurting or hindering, you know, people who work in a facility and we were sort of taking money out of their pocket. And so... You know, we've been we were discussing it at the office, and I said, "Geez, you know, I'm going to go on the, on, on the radio show today, and we'll talk about, you know, um, the concept behind planning, right? The concept behind the Medicaid and the med and the planning that we do for clients." And you know, the doing way some we, horse trading with Medicaid. Well, the, what, the way we've always explained our planning that we do with folks is, look, this is the the planning that we do is like tax planning. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the, the law. Th th that's exactly right. The Internal Revenue Code says you can do certain things, right? And those certain things are take these types of deductions, or you can, um, you know, you're, you're allowed to uh, take a deduction for your home mortgage yeah. interest, for example, or you're, if you're a business owner, you're allowed to take certain expenses as yeah. deductions. You know, the government sets out the rules. If you make this much money, this is how much tax you have. That's to pay. right. That's yeah. exactly right. And then you go to your CPA and your CPA says, well, let me help explain to you what the internal revenue code says that you can do. And you're all, we're all playing by the rules and we're all following the rules, right? So, Medicaid planning and the planning that we do for clients follows the same exact path, right? The people who run Medicaid say to the state of Massachusetts, here's your money. This is how you can dole this money out. You are the, 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 the administrator of these funds. You guys set the rules. Yep. And then what we do for clients is we come in and we say, well, this is what the Medicaid rules say is allowable. This is how we can do some planning, just like you would do tax planning. Just like you, for example, you mentioned it earlier today, you put money into your 401k and into your IRA because the government says if you do that, you won't pay any taxes on anything that that money earns. The government sets the rules. Medicaid planning works the same exact, same exact way. way. The planning that we do for clients is about following all the rules, knowing exactly what you're allowed to do, knowing exactly what Medicaid says you can do, knowing what, exactly what the qualification rules are, what the income rules are. No one is going to go to Medicaid jail. We tell clients all the time, we're you know we don't we're, want to go there. No, no, you, we're, we're we're going to follow to, the rules. Yeah. We're going to follow the rules, that's and this is like this is the type of planning that we're going to do. And that's what you, when you hire a CPA, when you hire financial advisors, when you hire an attorney, you hire somebody to help you understand what are the rules that I can play by, you know, and and, and what's the best way for me to handle this type of situation. Yeah, and so, not for nothing. The, the the rules, the people who made the rules, they understand. Like they, they it's not like they just like, oh let's just do this and then and and they there was no thought or no one said, oh, no, no. oh wait a minute, you know what if you do that then people can do this. And if you do that then you know th this is a way that they can avoid 
you know, having to, they, they can avoid having to spend this amount of money for Medi. And they're like, oh, yeah, we know. We know that. Well, a lot of these rules are designed to incentivize a certain type of behavior. Exactly. Right? There's a reason, you know, the American wants to encourage homeownership. They let your mortgage deduction be tax deductible. That's right. I, would people buy a house if their mortgage interest wasn't tax deductible? Be, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. I know when they're talking about what your mortgage payments are going to look like, part of that calculation is, well, this amount of it's going to come right off the top. You're going to get a deduction for it. And this is the benefit of having it. And the you know, same thing around, you know, if you've got kids, they're going to give you a, you know, you get discounts for, you know, uh, you know all, all your tax credits. You yep. know what I mean? The, 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 these, these rules that these different programs and these different organizations set up are designed to give you guidance as to how to handle certain affairs. Medicaid planning, whether it's me as an elder law attorney or anybody else you work with, it's the same exact situation. All we're doing is saying to clients, this is what we're allowed to do. This is how the rules work. We, we deal with them and work with them on a regular basis. So this is how we're going to set your planning up. And, and, and we're not going to do something that doesn't follow the rules because that's just not how we're wired. That's, and that's right. not how our firm operates. And we don't operate in a way that doesn't, that's going to do something that's, that's to the detriment of our clients. It's always about making sure that we follow the rules. That's yeah, and, what it's and all as about. You, as you, so, you know, an, you know an, an example that comes to mind is the whole idea of an irrevocable trust, right? So, so when someone says, well, wait a minute, you know, if I can put all my money into an irrevocable trust, and as long as the, I, the, once the five-year window is done, right, then sure. after that, it's, it's, it's no longer considered my asset from, medic, from Medicaid standpoint. So if I end up in a nursing home situation at that sure. point, I can apply for Medicaid, and they'll say, how much money do you have? And any money that's inside that trust that's over five years old, that irrevocable trust yeah, yeah. that's over five years old is not counted for it. And, I can, and, and then people are like, well, that seems like cheating. That's, and, and you're like, well, think about it. In an irrevocable trust, you're not the trustee. You no longer have control yeah. of that money. Yeah. And that's a big, big decision to well, make. It's a big decision. It's a huge deal. And that's the rule. And that's, that's the rule. And, and, and if I turned around, and again, I keep using this as an example because it's a good example. If I turned around and said to you, well, you took that tax deduction off of your, you know, you paid $22,000 in mortgage interest this year, and you took that as a tax deduction, well, why did you take that as a tax deduction? Why, why don't you just put it down to zero? Well, because the tax person I work with told me that that's what the tax code allows for. The work that we do is the same exact work, right? right. If, the, if, the, if, if the rules change, and if the government says, well, by the way, it, it has changed. It used to be a three-year look back. That's right. And then it went to a five-year look back. So when the, when the rules change, then we talk to our clients and say, well, these rules now don't allow for three years. They allow for five years. So the, I mean, the rules have changed over time, and it's our job to work with clients and talk about how it works. But any of the planning that, that, that we do, that financial folks do, that uh, tax people do, that's what you're getting. You're getting somebody's expertise as to how they handle the way those rules work and how those rules apply to your situation. No one's cheating anybody. No one's taking money last, out of anybody's no, no, pocket. No, no. This is about, by the way, we're following the rules. And the nursing homes, they know the rules too. Yeah. And their business model is built around understanding the rules, right? They know that you know their bills privately are going to be very, very difficult for people to afford. So they know a certain percentage of their population is going to come in, and they're going to come in as... Medicaid patients because this is the only way they can get the care that right. they need. So and this is this isn't Saul Goodman you're talking to. This is I no, mean, no. It, it's important for it's and it's important for uh, for your firm to 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 play by the rules, right? Of course and to, it is. Of course right? it is. That's, that's We're lawyers. Why, we that's, love rules. That's we love why we, laws. We're a nation of laws. That's, that's why, why we, we operate. That's right. That's why you need us, right? <laughs> So there you go. So just so you know, we're, just so everybody knows, it's all about all the rules. Right, it's all about we the rules. clear that up. If you right. have any questions, you can contact us on moneyinthelaw.net. Uh, I'm. It's time to go. Yeah, we gotta go. I know. All right. So I'm John Drone from Main Effort Financial. Uh, this is Jay Marsden from the Marsden Law Group. Uh, thank you again, Halston Cable Access TV and my FM 101.3 Money in the Law. We'll be back next, next week. Saturday. Have a great week. Next week. Yep. Get ready. Get all your stuff done. Remember, put, and put some lights up for crying out loud. Have a great week. All right.